everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Curiel and today I'm refilming the makeup look that I wore in my anti haul that I did recently. A few of you guys joined me from that video so hi if you're new. I did film this as like a little get ready with me before I filmed my anti haul but I managed to delete the footage. <laughs> I asked you guys in my Urban Cover foundation review if you wanted me to refilm this and a lot of you liked that video so here I am. <laughs> refilming this for you guys and I really love this look. It was very summery. It makes me feel a little bit happier inside <laughs> with the yellow and I've got a little bit of glitter. This is a super simple look but it's very effective and very bold obviously with a neon shadow. I'm going to be talking through a few of the products that I've been trying and liking because I did do a few first impressions in that video as well. So it was great for me to just delete the footage like that and you know do me dirty but what you gonna do? <laughs> My cat's meowing outside. But yeah before we get into the makeup if you are new here and and you're just now finding one of my videos, hello there. I would love you to join this little channel that I've got here. If you would like to, you can hit the red button down below and the notification bell and that will just tell you when I've uploaded and you'll get to see new makeup stuff that I bring to the channel. Sometimes I'm shady, sometimes I'm not, but I don't mind bringing a little bit of shade if I'm bringing the truth to you guys. So yeah, if this stuff interests you, then why not subscribe to the channel? If you're excited for neon looks and summer, which we're in the midst of right now, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the makeup. I'm natural lighting, so if the lighting changes throughout the video, I'm really sorry. I can't control the sun. I wish I could, because then it'd be sunny all the time, but I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my eyes first because I'm working with neon, and also I'm working with loose pigment. And and also I always do my eyes first so I don't know why I'm explaining it, I'm just doing my eyes first, okay. <laughs> so first I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base as normal, this is in the shade Rumour 2. I really need to get a lighter shade of this, I keep saying that I need to do that, but I never do. I really do. <laughs> now my base is on, what I did in the last video is I literally just went in with this Stargazer pigment. It's the Eye Dust in the shade 202. It doesn't have a name, it's just the number, but it's this bright neon ass looking eyeshadow. This stuff is so affordable, so cheap. You can get it on Amazon and you can get it on Stargazer's website. And even though I really love this and the product is really good, it's pain a little bit. <laughs> because it's a loose pigment, it can get everywhere, so bear that in mind if you use it. Open with caution. <laughs> look how radioactive that looks. <laughs> Got a Halloween look in mind that I really wanna do this year and this is going to come in handy, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to use the Morphe M139 brush and I'm literally just going to pop this on my lid. <laughs> I really enjoyed wearing this neon look when I did it for the video. I felt sassy and I felt confident and I felt very bright personality wise if that makes sense. And I think it came through in the video. <laughs> which got a lot of love for, by the way, so thank you so much for all the likes in that video. I always forget how good this pigment is. <laughs> it can be a little patchy, so just make sure you like buff it into the lid, but with loose pigments, they can sometimes be like that, so just make sure you're really buffing it in. Get a nice, even coverage then. This is literally pretty much all I did for that eye look. Like, it didn't really do anything special. I just shoved neon. <laughs> all over my lid and I loved it. I did add a few other products obviously which we'll go through, use the same brush to blend, I didn't do anything else with it, this is literally all I did, it's all she wrote. <laughs> it has been a little while since I've filmed and it feels so nice to be sitting back in front of the camera again, I don't know, it's just very therapeutic for me. I've had a little bit of a downtime recently and I haven't been feeling the best mentally but I always forget until I'm sitting down how much better this makes me feel. It's like a therapy session. <laughs> And there we have the neon. That's all I did for the lid, so I'm going to quickly do it on the other eye and I'll be right back. The birds are going crazy outside, so if you can hear that, I apologize. It's too warm in my room. <laughs> I can't close the window, okay? I'll die. Do you want me to die? I'm so dramatic. Okay, anyway, I've got a little bit of fallout on my face, so just a word of warning. You do get some fallout and they do like to kind of fluff everywhere, so I would just suggest doing your eyes first. Now it's time to move on to the face. I am going to be popping back to the eyes later on to finish them off. But that is it for the top of the eyeshadow. <laughs> That's why I didn't bother zooming you guys really up close to see what's going on. Really basic, but really pretty. <laughs> Now on to primer for the skin. In that video, I did do a first impressions on this, but I have been using it quite a bit in my daily life when I wear makeup, and I really, really like it. It's the Origin Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer, and it's the one that you spray out in your hand. It's got like a aerosol. It has been so nice in this heat wave that we've had in the UK because it's nice and cooling on the skin. It smooths over everything, and it just feels really good. I don't know if it makes my makeup last longer, but it makes it apply nicely, and it feels 
go to my skin. So first of all, you need to shake it up real good. And then I'll show you close up what it comes out like. <laughs> it's hard to see on camera exactly what's going on. It's kind of mirrored, so I keep getting confused. It feels so cold and cooling. I just put it on with my fingers. Just massage it into my skin. It feels so good. With that primer, it does claim to be smoothing. When I initially put it on and just rub it all over my skin, I don't find that it fills in my pores. If I go over again, more concentrated and push it into my pores, I find that helps and it does give a more smoothed over base. For foundation, I did a favourite concoction of mine, which is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Blanc. And also the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F1. To apply this, I literally just put a few stripes on my face and mix it all together with the brush and I've been really enjoying doing that because it's quick, it's simple, it gets the job done and I don't have to dampen a sponge. So this is just your lazy girl here. I like to use this as a mixer medium because it's like the palest foundation I own and your girl has not been attentive to her self tan so which I, I really need to get on the tan in like it is summer. I really need to at least try and look like I've been outside when I really I really haven't. Not that I tan at all anyway. <laughs> you know with the whole redhead jeans there's no hope. The brush that I've been using is the Revolution Pro Stippling brush and I literally just go in and rub it all together. You guys know I'm usually a sponge girl but this is just what I've been doing recently to rub my foundation really quickly and easily. I find with these two foundations they just mix so well together that I don't really have to worry about it. And that Makeup Revolution foundation is so smoothing as well. So the foundation and the primer together like looks pretty good. My skin looks as smooth as a baby's bottom. And that's how I like it. <laughs> All right, so now I look completely insane. <laughs> now onto concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me and I'm just going to conceal these under eyes. I know they've brought out a lighter shade of this again. This one still is like a little bit dark. It's so blended, it'll look all right, okay. All right, so I think I've gone a bit OTT with the concealer. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there for a second just to build up a little bit of coverage. Maybe I'll highlight a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this on where I usually like highlight with concealer and stuff. Even though it's a little bit darker, I still just like to do this. The brush that I've been using to like blend this out is this one by Makeup Revolution. It's like a dual ended one. And I use the flat foundation edge to just blend out my concealer. So that's what I'm gonna do. My camera cut out on me, so that was rude. <laughs> Alright, so once all that is blended, I go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder and this is in the shade Butter. I've been loving using this recently. It really smooths out the skin. Now I know I've said in previous videos that I don't like baking. I'm still working out whether I do. <laughs> But I think I worked out that I just wasn't using enough powder to give the coverage that I wanted. So what I do now is I take a brush, like my Real Techniques brush, and I go in and I apply the powder and then I put a lot over top. <laughs> and I also use this to kind of like carve up my nose as well. The powder smells so freaking good. I try to bring the powder in at all angles so it really gets into the creases and things. But yeah, I kind of set with a lot of powder. I can really get the brightened under eye that I want. And this powder just smooths my skin as well. All right, so now my under eyes are baking. I take the excesses in the lid, which really is not a lot of powder. And I just swirl my big powder brush in there. And I just stamp this all over the rest of my face. This foundation combination is pretty matte so I don't really need to do this but I just like to do it just to ensure that I don't have any problems with my bronzer. Okay so this is literally how long I leave my bake on for. I don't really leave it on for that long. So now what I do is I go in with the Spectrum AO2 brush and I really buff it in the skin so I don't lose the coverage which is what was happening to me before. So instead of just dusting off the powder and it floating into the air I now use it to reinforce the concealer and get more coverage and yeah so I'm just gonna take this brush it's a dense brush but it is movable so it doesn't really affect my under eyes and it's nice and gentle so I go from outside in I'm gonna see a lot of powder fluffing off again you guys don't need to do this this is just the way that I've found that baking works for me I just find this helps with my creasing a lot I've been doing this more recently with the Jeffree Star translucent powder and I can't work out which one I prefer I think because of the shade I am more gearing towards the Jeffree Star because it is like a white translucent powder and this one is slightly too dark on my skin I don't know if you can see right now you might be able to but there's kind of like an orange line the translucent powder I don't get that so it's a shame because I really like the consistency of this powder and the smoothing effect. Once I put my blush and bronzer and everything 
it looks okay. All right, speaking of bronzer, let's do it. When I first did this makeup look, I tried this bronzer, which I haven't actually used since, so I can't really remember my thoughts on it. <laughs> but I'm excited to try it again. It's the Doll Give Me Sun bronzer in the shade Light. This is by Doll Beauty. You guys know I love their eyelashes. They're really good quality and their styles are so good for the pricing. So this is what this looks like. It looks very dark on camera. I'm hoping it's going to be a sheer application. The tone does look slightly orangey but has a cool undertone. Also it's kind of like in between. I'm going to take this on the Makeup Revolution Pro 250 brush. It's come off lightly on the brush so that's promising. Let's bronze up these cheeks. Not a lot happened. <laughs> Maybe we can go in a little bit harder. Ooh, you know the tone of this is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see because I'm kind of washed out from the natural lighting, but it's giving me just like a natural flush of bronze. Ooh, I really like that color. You know, Doll Beauty I feel like is a smaller brand, but the products they come out with are really good. I haven't tried the tan, but obviously I really like their highlighter. Pretty much my favorite highlighter to go to. Damn, this is such a soft, light bronzer. I really like this. I've been really liking doing the whole kind of halo forehead effect recently. <laughs> so I like to go a little bit heavier on the outside and really make my face look, I don't know, sculpted slightly. If I go a little bit too heavy handed, you can see it is very warm, but it blends out really effortlessly. I feel like this one is gonna be a really good shade for me for summer. It has a slight pink undertone to it, which is more of a realistic bronze shade for me because I don't tan. <laughs> so if I am gonna be spending my days outside in the sun, I'm more likely gonna get a pinky tinge than a brown one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is ridiculously blendable though. I really, really like this bronzer. Okay, I need to put this uh, more in my daily routine. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pop this in my makeup bag, which by the way, guys, is my new makeup bag. <laughs> it has Miko from Pocahontas all over it. Isn't it so cute? So precious. This is from Skinny Dip. I thought it was gonna be clear and just have Miko all over it, which I would have preferred. Sparkle is a little bit tacky for me, but what can you do? <laughs> I mean, having Miko all over a makeup bag would be kind of tacky in itself, but I just think it's cute. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> so you guys have a comparison as well. I'll just show you what it looks like next to the Fenty Beauty. Just because the Fenty Beauty is like my go-to bronzer. So here's what they look like side by side. As you can see, the Doll Beauty one is just a little bit more pink toned and the Fenty Beauty is very golden. So I am not mad at it though. It looks very, very summery, especially with these neon eyes. Looks pretty good. Before I do my blush, I'm gonna do my highlight just to make it blend all seamlessly. The one I used in the video is this one by Ofra. It's the Star Island Highlighter. This was another first impressions for me. It's just a pretty goldy highlight that's very pale. And I've tried Ofra's formula before, so I know I like the formula. I just really want to see if the shade would work for me. This is another product that I've also been using quite a bit. Uh, spoiler alert, it's really good. <laughs> just going to apply this, like look at, look at that. It is so insane. Ofra's highlighter's formula is just, it doesn't compare, okay, with others. It is insanely blinding. Do you sound just like that? I still taste me back. No, you are dumb, but I guess it's never really over. I am now just highlighting my entire existence. What's new? <laughs> For blush, I went in with MAC Peaches. I really, really love the shade and I feel like because we've got bright yellow on the eyes, this shade kind of complements it and I just really, really like this blush colour. I think out of all my MAC blushes, this is probably my most used one. I just lightly give a peachy flush to the cheeks. I find doing this after highlight just makes everything melt together and it looks so much better. By the way guys, this side of my face always looks a little bit darker because I have a window directly beside me by here. So this side is always a bit more illuminated than that side. I try and make it even, but it's so hard with lighting. For my end eyes, I'm actually gonna go in with my blush and just apply a little bit of this. Just so it ties everything together. Just to add a little bit more depth, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer on a little angled brush. And I'm just gonna stamp this right at the lash line. It's not gonna add much, but it's just gonna help out a little bit. And then I'm just blending it a little bit more. I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm just using a little bit of that bronzer just on the tip of the brush. And I'm just lightly just sweeping it 
towards the center of my face. It's not gonna like chisel my nose, it's just gonna bring back a little bit of the definition that I've lost. All right, so all my base is done and everything. Before I go on to my mascara and things like that, I wanna set my face. I've been loving this by L'Oreal. It's the Shake and Glow Setting Spray. I've used like so much of this. Considering how many setting sprays I do have, I've used a lot of this. This is one of my favorites to come out of the drugstore. I'm shake this up. The mist on this is just so incredible. I love it. I think I did like a full face face impressions or something when I tried this and I was amazed. I'll put it in the eye. <laughs> Look at this magical mist. Oh my god. It feels so good and it smells so good as well. I don't know where my little fans are, so I'm gonna get this big ass one. Literally massive. I got this from the David Guetta Festival in Ibiza when I when I went. And it's just so big. It was so handy though because it was so warm in Ibiza, obviously. It could literally blow you away. This is some Beyonce fan right here. <laughs> right, so let's finish up these eyes. Oh, and my brows, which I have not done yet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do my brows first, just to get them out of the way. I'm gonna use a little bit of Gimme Brow, this is in shade three, just to set them in place and thicken them up a little. Then I'm taking my browsings in shade three again, and I'm just gonna take the powder side on an angled brush. What I like to do is I take the powder and just go underneath the brow and do a defined line. Not too heavy handed though, because this powder is pigmented. <laughs> and then I just use the tip of the brush and I just fluff it through the rest of my brow. Add a little bit of structure where I need to, but it's pretty basic. So yeah, there's the brows done. Let's finally finish up these eyes because they have been looking crazy for the last half an hour that I've been filming this. <laughs> because I am going to be putting on false lashes, I'm just going to tight line my lash line with a little bit of brown. It's really sharp in this, but I can't find a sharpener anywhere, so uh, let's hope I don't scratch my eyelid. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. Usually I would use the Makeup Revolution mascara, but this is pretty much done. <laughs> it's all dried out. I can't get any product left on it, so I'm just going to go in with my Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. This honestly doesn't do the same thing, but I'm just using up the mascaras that I currently have. <laughs> and it's just to coat them with mascara for when I put lashes on. This was such an overrated <laughs> mascara when it came out. Like, it's all right, like, you know what I mean? But it's not that good. <laughs> now that I've found the mascara by Makeup Revolution, there's like no going back for me. <laughs> I love big ass clumpy lashes. I can't help it. Even this one's drying out, I'm getting little speckles. <sighs> I don't know why, I just can't bring myself to buy another one when I've got these ones in the house. You know what I mean? Also, I can't use a lot of this on my lower lash line because I find it transfers like no other. Okay, the lashes that I used for this look were Boonie by Doll Beauty. And I believe these are inspired by Holly Boone here on YouTube. I'm just gonna go ahead, put them on off camera, and then I'll be right back to finish up the lips. Yeah, see you in a moment. All right, my lashes are looking a little wonky, but I've tried and tried and tried to put them on. They're just not cooperating. So if they look a little funky, it's because they are. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to the lips. So for lining the lips, I use the Milani Spice Lip Liner. I use this one a lot, it's one of my favorites. It's just like a warm toned brownie pink sort of color. It's easy, it goes with a lot of stuff. Someone is running a bath again. Why is it always when I'm filming, someone's running a bath? Okay, and the lipstick that I used was the MAC Aladdin collaboration, and this is in the shade Friend Like Me, and it's the nude of the collection. And I'm just gonna go over my lips real quick. Such a good color, and also the amplified finish is so moisturizing and so pigmented, I love it. But I also went over it with a gloss, because <laughs> I really have been loving the really glossy, lumped looking lips. And this is the Honey Gloss by MUA. I can't stop myself from using this. I really just love this gloss. It's such a pretty nude. And also it's so affordable. I feel like when I recommend this, I'm not, you know, destroying your bank balance or anything. <laughs> pretty. The final thing that I did, which I actually forgot to do, was highlight the inner corner and I used this pigment by Peaches and Cream, which is the Hollywood pigment. So I'm just going to do this real quick. For these, I would suggest using maybe like a pigment mixer or some kind of tacky base or like a glitter glue. I currently can't find my glitter glue, so I'm just going to use a little bit of lash glue on the inner corner slightly. And you do not want to go too heavy handed with lash glue on your skin. Pick up a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess and stamp it on the inner corner. Honestly, this pigment pigment is so stunning. Like we've got bright yellow all over the lid, but I feel like this just brings back kind of sunshine color to it. I can't describe it. It just makes it look more warm because I feel like this neon color can look a little bit cool tone. This pigment, it just, I don't know. It's just so gorgeous, man. Look at it. I'll show you on my good side. <laughs> like it is just so, so pretty. I love Love that pigment, it's so nice. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. 
I hope you guys appreciated the bright neon look. <laughs> super summery and super pretty and I really, really like this kind of sunshine, happy feeling kind of makeup, you know? Especially having a not so good couple of weeks mentally. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys so much for sticking around and also the newcomers who have joined my channel. Thank you so much, it means so freaking much. If you're new, please subscribe now so you get to join. Hit the red subscribe button down below and hit the bell button so you get notified of all my future uploads. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for more bright, colourful summer looks. I'd like to work with these neon pigments a little bit more. I have a few other colours, so let me know in the comments if you would like to see some more bright neon looks. And yeah, I shall love you and leave you. I'm starving. I need to go eat right now. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly... Okay, so I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start with... <laughs> sentences braids are the what <laughs> just because i literally just flushed no i didn't flush because <laughs> i literally just pushed what's it called what is what is the word i fluffed i, I didn't fluff any gloss by mua i haven't oh